solving proportions a proportion means that two ratios are equal it can be written in two ways one way you can use a fraction for example you could say 1 to 2 equals to 2 to 4 you can write it in another way 1 to 2 is the same thing as 2 to 4 to solve a proportion, we can use cross multiplication. Take a look at this example. 1 6 equals to x for a value over 60. So if you notice that 6 multiplied by 10 and you got 60, now you need to do the same thing for the numerator. So times that one by 10, if you multiply that one by 10, then 1 times 10 is 10, so x is 10. But another way, this is just finding, this is by finding the relationship between the denominators and numerators. But we could also solve this one using the cross multiplication. Based on cross multiplication rule, 1 times the next denominator, so first numerator times the next denominator, 60 equals to next numerator times the first denominator 6 times x is 6x now we're looking for a number x is so we're looking for a number that when you multiply by 6 you get 60 or you can divide this is an equation you can divide both sides by 6 so 6 divided by 6 is just 1 so it is x x equals to 60 over 6 or 10 60 over 6 is 10 so that's the cross multiplication method let's take a look at the next example here the first numerator here 2 multiplied by 54 the next denominator 2 times 54 equals to the next numerator times the first denominator x times 6 is 6x. Now, if you solve for x, x equals to... Here, when you multiply these two, you get 108. So 108 divided by 6 is the answer. You could write... You can, you can divide these two sides by 6. Then you get the value of x x equals to 108 divided by 6 which is 18 x here is 18 next one again 1 times x cross multiplication 1 times x is just x equals to 5 times 15 it is 75 so x is 75 next one here you could also find the relationship. If you can find the relationship between the two numerator that we have here, 8 times what number you get 40? You need to multiply by 5. Do the same thing for denominator. So 7 times 5, it is 35. So 8 over 7 is 40 over 35. You could also use a cross multiplication. 8 times x, cross multiplication times x equals to 7 times 40 7 times 40 and if you simplify x is 35 next one here you can see that 7 changed to 49 so you multiply by 7 you need to do the same thing for denominator 12 times 7 it is 84 you could also use cross multiplication. 7 times x is just 7x equals to 12 times 49. And if you divide both sides by 7, then x is 84. Last one here, cross multiplication. 4 times 88, you could also simplify this one first. So if you, if you can simplify it, just simplify it. Divided by 2 is just 1 and divided by 2 is 2. Now 2 over 1 is the same thing as x over 
88. So you can see here that 1 times 88. 1 times 88 is 88. Now 2 times 88. Just find that one. It is 176. You can use cross multiplication. 4 times 88 is another way. Equals to x times 2. 2 times x. Now if you divide both sides by 2, then the answer is 176.